Assalamualaikum Sulman. Congratulations for 100. Thank you. Third test run. So Sulman, when you came, the first session in Pakistan was a little slow, but you gave the first session of the first statement of the intent. So were you planning on yourself or were you planning on lunch discussion that you have to go fast and get the total of the total? No, I didn't have any plan, but I attack the spinners on my game. So I did that on the spinners. And it became a fast run, so there was no plan. It was natural. Sir, you said that England had been waiting for 4 days, when you were waiting for 4 sessions, in the field, of course, there was a warm weather and everything. But you attacked Jack Leach, his most experienced spinner. And as a baller, who played a crucial role in the 2022 series. So was there any thing in your mind that they had to give a psychological blow to them? They were so far in the field, but now they were so hurt that we can do as much as we can do. No, there was no such thing. I told you that the game is like this. If there will be any situation, I will attack the spinners. I feel like I can take on the spinners. If there will be any situation, I have done that. It has become a fast run or a specific spinner against a specific spinner. So there was no such thing. It was natural that it was natural. Salman, thank you very much for your support. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Tell me, what is your assessment on the pitch and do you think that the result can come to it? Although it is two. I mean, there is no deviation to it now. But I think that if you look at the wicket, there are cracks opening. I think that later on or in the morning, I think that there are cracks opening. And there is no deviation to it. Okay, so let's move on to the next question. Yes, sir. 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 So what assessment have you done yesterday and what do you want to do with bowling with this plan? I mean, you can expect England to do it. We were doing it and we will play it like that. Because they have played it for the last 2-3 years. And the planning is that we will sit here, but the planning is that we will not give them a fast run. Because if you don't give them a fast run, they will give you wickets. So yesterday, I think the planning will be the same. Suleiman, thank you very much. Thank you. This is the third time. In the baseball era, England has scored more than 500 more than 500. And before that, they have won two times. This is the third time you think that the results will change. And in the Pindi, in 2022, do you think that this time, considering the pitch, the result will change? Well, one thing is to confirm that when you play England, the result comes from the result. There is no situation where you try to get the result in the result. So we are expecting that they will create a situation where they will create a result. But we are also trying to get the result from this match. And inshallah, we will win this time. Let's do it. Congratulations on the 100. Are we okay for English? Yeah, I'm alright. Thank you. Can you tell us your view on the Chris Walks catch on the boundary? Did you feel like it was going to be your day today when it could have been out and it was six instead? Initially, I, I did thought it's out because I was walking to the dressing room. But I heard and I talked to umpire. He said when he took the catch, uh, when he took the uh, ball out and then took again, it, his foot was on the boundary. So I don't really know because I haven't seen it again. But I will look at it. But I initially thought it was out. I was walking to the uh, pavilion. But I, I, I haven't seen it again. I will see it. Is either way, when that goes in your favour, it must mean it's a good day for you. Yeah, that's how. If you score hundreds, things has to go your way, and it was. You can say it was my day. Uh, hi. Hi. So there was a period, particularly when you were batting with Nasim Shah, where you seemed really beautifully in control of the innings, often scoring a single off the final ball of an over. You really seemed in charge of things. How? Did you find that? How, and how would you describe the challenge that England gave you? Yeah, obviously, England is a very, very challenging side. Whenever you play against them, you have to be very, very like top of, the, of your game. And with playing with tail, I have been doing this for two years now. So I have an idea of what I need to do when, it's, when, when tail, tail comes. So yeah, it was like pretty normal stuff for me because I do this stuff for two years now. So when tails comes, it brings the best out of me. You can say that. So I was, I, I know, I knew I was what I, what I was doing. There was just a, a crazy period at the end of your innings when there was the missed stumping, yeah. the drop catch, uh, Ben Duckett injured himself taking a catch, and then an amazing catch to get rid of Ollie Pope, and it felt like England might fall apart then. Um, 
are you happy given that where with the position that you were in at the end of the day well yeah if you score like 550 almost runs you should be in a great position and we are i think i think we are in a good position because we are like still 470 run above and it's a game of cricket you never know what will bring tomorrow and test cricket is all about session by session you never know we'll have a session where we can three four wickets and then the game will like completely change so hope hoping for the best tomorrow thank you so much thank, thank you, you. Thank you.